Hello, welcome to Nitpicks Yarn Stories. I'm Alexis. And I'm Andy. And today we're gonna to talk about wool and cotton. Wool and cotton initially was launched in the summer of uh, 2018. We brought in a bunch of different bears. So it, when it first came in, it was just a bear weight. And what it is, is it's 50% merino, and it's at 20.5 microns, so it's very soft, mm -hmm. and 50% Pima cotton. So it's a true woolen cotton. <laughs> um, and we brought this in with a bunch of different yarn bases just to see what people liked and what would work well. And this was one that everybody, once they used it, they kept talking about it. And they were like, when are we going to bring in colors? When are we going to bring in colors? So finally this year, we decided to bring in colors in the fall. And so because of that, we brought in a very fall palette. So yes. this is a yarn line I definitely, we will be expanding on and expect some more colors in this mm -hmm. one. But initially, because we launched it in the fall, we thought we'd bring in some nice woolly garment -y things. Because of the blend being 50-50, it really works well all seasons. I mean, except for deep, hot summer. I think <laughs> um, I think it's a really good one that you could, you could work with all year round. And it's in a DK weight. Um, it comes in 100 gram hanks and you get 218 yards for this fancy little guy. Yeah, we definitely had sweaters in mind when we were playing this color palette. Um, and we were thinking of like, it's been so warm even into October mm -hmm. that like this is the perfect yarn to knit a sweater for like a fall yarn festival where you don't know if you need to be really cozy or it might be too hot. Like you can't go wrong with a 50% wool, 50% cotton. And because of the blend, you get the benefits of both fibers. Yeah. It's um, got a little elasticity from the wool and a little bit of loftiness from the wool. So you could knit this at a looser gauge and it doesn't look very holy the way 100% cotton in mm. a loose gauge would look. It also has sort of like the softness of like well-worn cotton. So it feels like your favorite old sweatshirt. It's very, very, very soft. Yeah, it just makes beautiful garments. It makes very even stockinette stitches. You can get great stitch definition um, and it blocks beautifully. So you really can does. do sort of slightly more open work stitches without worrying about them collapsing like you might with cotton pure cotton. It's really the best of both worlds. It's got a little bit of warmth, but not too much from the wool. So it's not as like heavy and warm as 100% wool, which makes it so versatile. It really does. And then with this color palette too, like we did bring in like some blues that are mm -hmm. close where you could, you know, if you wanted a brighter blue or slightly richer blue that could go with the browns. And then mm -hmm. it does look like these are greens, but this is a much more like mossy down to earth green. And this mm -hmm. is a little more foresty green. You can really play with tonal looks, do some color blocking. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And then of course our bear, which you could dye your own at any time, any color <laughs> you like. If you if you don't like the colors we've chosen, you can pick your own. <laughs> um, so yeah, wool and cotton has, you know, grown and I think you'll really enjoy it. So let us know what kind of projects you like to use in it. And that's the story of wool and cotton.